I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I think it is fantastic that you joined me today for episode number 242. Blank cells under a category assume previous value on a data link. I have been working with Quantrix for over 13 years now, and this one's always had me a little bit perplexed, but I have finally cracked the code of what this actually means in Quantrix Modeler on a data link. And what I mean by that is if I have a data link here and it's going out to some file, or maybe I'm importing it from clipboard, I can step through the wizard here rather quickly. And then when I'm making a multi-dimensional OLAP analysis, right, I have this option here, blank cells under a category assume previous value. And I've always wondered, well, what does that mean? Where are we going with that? I've never quite understood this, but I have discovered what it means and I want to share it with you. And I think it's actually brilliant. It's, of course, it's fantastic. Now, forgive me for going over to this lesser program to show you some data. Is I have a list of trips and then I have a list of stops along the trips. So say I'm moving goods on a truck and then I have a start zip code and a stop zip code and I have how many kilometers it is between those two zip codes and then I've converted that to miles. And you can see that this first trip here that's listed, it had at least nine different stops. Uh, this second trip, it only had one stop and the accompanying miles are associated with each of these trips. Well, I wanna get this into Quantrix. I wanna have it summarized. I wanna have my total miles aggregated by trip. Well, how do I do that? Well, what you could do is you could go out and point to that Excel file uh, or that lesser program file. I, I've saved it as a CSV file and I'm bringing it in as a multi-dimensional OLAP analysis. And what I wanna do is I wanna make my trip a category and then I want to aggregate all of my miles up to that trip. So if I go in here and I make this selection, make it a category, then I go item. And I leave unchecked blank cells under a category, assume previous value. Let's see what happens. When I, again, I want to aggregate my miles, I go ahead and I say sum. And I'm just going to finish this out. And what happens is I get 432 miles for this first trip. So if I go back to that lesser program and I pull in the 177-88A trip, you can see that it has more than 432 miles. It has actually has 869 miles. So it looks like it's only capturing this first item here. If I were to go to uh, 177-89A, do I have what I would expect there. So I'm going to bring this guy up to the filter tray 17789. I think A is what I said. It's got 264 miles. Uh, that looks like it's working correctly. But if I go to 17791A, right, I would expect Quantrix to aggregate the 612. And that was again 17791A. So if I get that, it's showing 340. It's again, it's only showing the top value. So how can I get Quantrix to really aggregate and say, well, all of these trips, even though they're blank, they're really associated with this trip up here. So I want to aggregate these miles up with the miles here and have my answer instead of being 432, be closer to 869. Well, what you do is on your data link, you can go in here and if you were to go to data, data link, and um, update your data link or create your data link, and again, I'm going to step through this, again, to a multidimensional OLAP analysis. And if I were to say blank cells under a category, assume previous value, if I were to go ahead and check that, then what happens is Quantrix treats uh, these blanks here as though they had the value right here when I have that assume previous value, blank cells assume previous values on category items checked. So do I get 869 here? I look back at this guy again, it's 869, uh, 177, 89A, he should be 264. 
which he is. And then let's go down here to uh, 17800A. He should be 3744. And there you have it. It is correct. And again, what I'm doing is I'm going to data link. I'm editing that data link. And I am selecting blank cells under a category assume previous value. That's what it means. If you have a, a data set that's got some sparse data, maybe at one time or another it had some merged cells or whatever, or you're using merged cells and you need to bring it into Quantrix Modeler, uh, try this option and see if it works for you. And if you have any questions about data links, importing data, I do hope that you'll reach out to me. I absolutely love Quantrix. It makes my day. It brings a smile to my face every day I can use it. And it makes me even more joyful when I can help somebody else. So please ask me any question about Quantrix. Please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.